It was uh, Universal Louisville's last home game, which I was a season ticket holder. My son and I was on our way when a car ran a stop sign and we met. 64-year-old Chris Jackson moved slowly down the hallways of Fraser Rehabilitation Institute. He's able to move like this after years of work, after suffering a C3-level injury to his spinal cord, paralyzing him from the neck down. Well, that was my opportunity to retire and just go ahead and enjoy my life. And bam, it was over, just like that. Newly retired when the wreck happened, he knew his life would change, but he didn't imagine it this way. After neck surgery, that's when he started his recovery at Fraser Rehab. That's where the new chapter in my life began. Working with nurses and doctors, Jackson's movements started small, a finger twitch here and a leg kick there. Eventually, he was strong enough to start working out on the treadmill, even getting a special visit from University of Louisville football players. They were pumping me up. Mr. Jackson, you could do this. They were working me hard, and I was working off all this adrenaline, you know. And after all that was over, I was like, ah, it's a piece of cake. Jackson had polio as a kid, throwing off his posture and alignment, but the fire inside him is much bigger than his struggles. My life is not over. Through great challenges, Jackson has kept moving. He doesn't know if he'll ever be able to walk again on his own, but it's not going to stop him from trying, one step at a time. <sighs> I know walking gonna be tough, but I'm going to walk with those long strand crutches. Alex Durham, WLKY News. And Jackson's spinal injury has not stopped him from cheering on the cards at UofL football games. He is still getting season tickets to the game.